Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Winter. I'm a biomedical engineering student here at the University of Iowa, and I study how your airways keep themselves clean. I'm here to tell you right now that your airways are under attack. Bacteria, viruses, pollen, dirt, dust, they're all infiltrating your lungs right now as we speak, but do not be afraid. There is this amazing phenomenon inside of your airways called the mucociliary escalator, which is responsible for keeping your airways clean. There are two very important components to this escalator, the first being the gear. So you can think of those as the ciliated cells. Their job is to push everything up and out of your airways towards your mouth. The second component is the mucus. You can think of that as the bed or the platform that the viruses and bacteria stand on and what pushes or gets pushed by the cilia up and out of your airways. Now, there is a really interesting physical property of your mucus that is shared by ketchup. Ketchup is a very stubborn condiment, but when you flip the bottle upside down and smack it or apply a force, it suddenly flows very easily out of the bottle onto your hot dog or your black bean burger. Now, it's no sheer coincidence that your mucus has a similar property, and you want this because when your mucus is inside of your airways, you want it to be liquidy when you apply a force to it, but once it gets up to your mouth or your nose where there's no more ciliated cells, it forms boogers. They can either be blown out of your nose or swallowed back down into your stomach, and this is incredibly important to keeping your airways clean, and I know it's gross to think about, but... What happens when your escalator breaks? Well, people with PCD, it's a disease of the airways, have broken escalators and the fact that their gears are not pushing things around. So what happens is these bacteria, these viruses, these dirt, it all builds up in their lungs, causing chronic infections, and their mucus also is stuck in their lungs, and so they have airway plugging and infections, which unfortunately cannot be treated very well aside from uh, prescribing antibiotics for the infections, and also seeing a doctor regularly. But my research aims to change this. See, in my lab, we look at what do the cilia do to the mucus to affect it and make it clear easier. Now, two things that we have discovered so far is that these damaged gears are producing a very harmful substance that is causing the mucus to clump up. And then the second thing is when the cilia are not working or these gears are not working, the mucus is also plugging up and clogging the airways. These are two things that we can treat in these patients, but my research does not just stop there. Did you know that dysfunctional gears have been implied in Parkinson's disease? Yeah, that's right. There are so many different organ systems in the body, such as the brain, the eyes, the lungs, that have these specialized gears. And if we can make discoveries in my lab, researchers in other fields can apply those to their research and hopefully find new treatments. But let's not just stop with sick people. Let's look at healthy people. With airway pollutants and the pandemic causing air quality issues, even your mucociliary escalators might need just a little bit of maintenance. So breathe a little bit easier knowing that doctors and engineers are working hard to provide proper maintenance to your airways. Thank you very, very much.